I don't know what happened. I don't know if was I saying something too too real? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. If you guys are there with me still, cool. If not, uh, <laughs> uh, wow. I didn't do that. I don't know what happened. It just ended. I don't know how it did it. Ooh. Anyways, okay. Uh, back to what we were saying earlier. I don't know if people are going to be able to get back on and say all this stuff. But, uh, okay. I was talking about before. I, I don't know how. I didn't end it. I don't know who ended it. But somebody ended it. And, uh, but that's something to think about, right? I think it is. It's something to think about in terms of, are you willing to change your communicating? Is it working for you? And if it is working for you, are you willing to get better at communicating? And um, I think a lot of us have room to improve when it comes down to communication and how well we can um, express ourselves and how well we talk to ourselves. Um, trying to listen to understand. Listen to understand. Not listen to respond. Some of you guys might have heard that before. Listen to understand. Not listen to respond. Okay? Sometimes respond. And actually my wife is really good at this. She said, I just want to be supported. I don't. So as a man. Some of us feel like we have to be, we have to fix things. We have to provide that solution, especially to our kids or to our wife or to significant others. And sometimes we just have to sit there and just listen, be present, just agree and reflect and empathize with, with what's going on in their life and their situations. Because sometimes we don't need a fix. We're on our way to fixing it. We just need to be heard. We just need to be listened to. We don't need to have no response to it. Just, mm-hmm. Man, that must be hard. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you can reflect. You reflect your questions. Well, when you do feel that way, how does that make you feel? Like, how about a reflective question session with your significant others, with your, your children, with your grandparents, with your boss, you know, even... Um, I think I think communication is meant to be, you know, shared amongst and respected and understood so that you like I sometimes will say help me understand so I know what I can do the next time. Okay? That's all I want to do is understand it because I have these emotions going on inside me. I need to understand how to navigate through it so help me understand where you're coming from or what you're saying so I can Kind of navigate through that so I don't get so emotionally connected or disconnected from what you're sharing or what from what you're saying or from what you're displaying. Um, example is banging dishes or vacuuming or throwing stuff or whatever it may be, man or woman, doesn't matter who it is. And you don't understand why, but you want to understand why so that you as self are not getting so emotionally frustrated or emotionally attached to it it's just what they're going through right it's what they're that what's happening to them right now how they're dealing with their challenges in life whether it be a phone call um it might be just uh frustration or anger or sadness and all you ask is can you help me understand why we're banging dishes. I just need to know so I don't... Like, if there's something I can do to help, I'll help. But I, if you want me to leave you alone, I'll leave you alone. If you want to talk about something, let's talk about it. I just need to know because I'm feeling this emotional thing going right now. And I need to understand what's going on. And how you deliver it. How you talk lower, slower. Rather than, what's going on with you? Can you your... Welcome, you're banging dishes and just throwing a big old fit. What's wrong with you? Don't worry about me. Don't worry. Worry about yourself. You wouldn't understand anyways. You don't tell me anything anyways. So what am I supposed to do for you? Don't do nothing to me. Just get out of here. 
but I live here. Why would I get out of here? Oh, you just frustrate me. You're just like so and so. You always do this. I always do what? You're always doing this. You're always poking the bear. Poking the bear. Where's the bear? I don't see no. I mean, that's an example of how things could kind of get out of hand, like right? Because you don't understand each other. You don't know where each other's going, and that could be again. Son and son, son and or uh, yeah, son and daughter, uh, or you know, fa- yeah, father and son, father and daughter, father and mother. I don't know, whatever. So those are the communication skills you can kind of think about. Like, wow, you know, what am I doing? How can I? Am I willing to change and accept and understand what I can do better um, from a listening perspective and a communicating perspective? What, am, am I am I effectively? saying the things I need to say in the right way for them to understand what I'm saying. And if I'm not, are they willing to tell me in an effective way to say, no, I don't understand what you're saying without being so emotionally frustrated at what I'm saying. Wow. That was weird. Okay. That was, that was different, but that's something to think about as well. Okay. So, um, sorry, I'm just, Am I on? I'm on, right? <laughs> so, uh, I don't know what's going on here. But hopefully you guys are getting this. I'm hoping you guys are. Oh, okay, yeah, back in action. Okay, Jessica, I wasn't sure. I was like, weird. But, um, hey, Keith, what's up? Uh, yeah, anyways, okay. Um, that little, like, cutoff kind of threw me for a loop. Kind of bewildered me bewildered such a big word uh not even a big word but a uh, different word um thanks dean good to see you dean what's going on here okay um and honestly i'll, I'll leave you off with this you know and i think i think the big thing a lot about this stuff is 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 um being interested and um being interested in what the other person is saying and being present. And if you're not interested in what the other person is saying, how do you communicate that? And if you, if you want to be more interested or you don't know, if, how can you communicate the fact that I don't know what you're saying? I'm sure it's difficult or it's exciting. Um, but I don't understand your frustration or I don't understand your excitement could be a, a certain way obviously okay um there's several different ways you could communicate i don't know your family dynamics i don't know your dynamics in terms of how you communicate and how you may want to get better at communicating and how your family has raised you to communicate and receive communication um being the sender or the receiver i don't know how your family has modeled you to do a certain thing in a certain way um, if it's working for you, cool. If it's not working for you, are you willing to change it? Um, can you become better? And one of the before I sign out here, one of the biggest things that we've talked about today, obviously, is communication and all that stuff. But the biggest thing I want you to take away from it today is self. I don't know how to tell you guys to really think about and understand self and how to communicate to self because I think it's so, so important how you talk to yourself and how you allow yourself to talk. Because if I, I, I'm coming from a place of understanding myself and how I heard positive things a majority of my life. You're handsome, you're athletic, you can do whatever you want to do in life. You can make a you can make it to the NBA, you can be you're funny, you're 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 energetic, you're you know, all these things. But then what I allowed to go into my filters was okay, cool, whatever, you know, ha, oh, yeah, yeah. Brushed all the positive stuff off. But then what I allowed to go through my mind and to my heart and to my spirit and my being was all the negative stuff, right? All the wrongdoing that I might have done. All the faults that I supposedly have, which I don't because I'm perfect in this moment. I'm not saying that sarcastically, but I'm perfect. In this moment, I'm perfect. 
I accept myself the way I am to a point. I do have still to work on um, being self-conscious, I guess, a little bit on some certain aspects of my life that I can't control. You know, there's like little, there's some stuff that I cannot control. I can't. Like, look at my eyebrows. They're getting hairier as I get older. Look at crow's feet. I can't control that. I mean, I could if I want to go get Botox. Um, the hair, the my legs got hairier the more older I got. I'm not saying they're freaking like chia pets, but I mean they're hairy, and I'm just like, Indians ain't supposed to have hair, you know. I don't know. That's just always a saying. Hairy armpits. I don't know. Whatever it may be, you know. But I allow like the negativity to go through all that stuff and I just hold on to that rather than all the positive stuff that I had. So I let all the negative go, all my wrongdoings, all the negative stuff that I may have experienced. And then I start judging myself about those things. I start communicating to myself like that is what you did wrong. And this is how you're feeling. And now you got a fear or anxiety about all these things. And now you're trying to, now you communicate. Now it comes out as frustration and anger and sadness. You don't understand me. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I say in my head. Well, of course I don't. Or of course they don't. Because I don't communicate it effectively to them. To have them reassure me that I am perfect. I'm fine. I'm healthy. And then to allow that to for myself to say to myself, I am perfect. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm love. I really, really am. I'd say I'm so much better than I was today than I was yesterday and the day before and the day before in the past because I'm slowly chipping and working and at that communicating to self. I'm trying to understand how I communicate to self, trying to understand who I am as a person and a human being and as all an E-man or a Bukhani man or, or just a man in general, a man with dark hair or a man with dark succulent eyes. Joking. But you see what I'm saying? How do I communicate with self and allow myself to believe that and to radiate this positivity to others? That's one of the things I want you to take away today is how do you communicate with yourself and how do you talk with yourself and how do you communicate with others from self? It's so important for you to understand that because in some odd sense, we can become, we can become better. Don't just settle for good enough. Become great. Don't settle. I mean, again, my the saying, and you probably heard through all multiple presentations, is our ancestors didn't go through what they had to go through and sacrifice what they did for us to be growing up just to be okay. We deserve it to give to them. We deserve to give to them to be great, to be phenomenal, to be something to be you know, held up high, I guess you'd say. Rather than just say, oh, you know, it's good enough. You know, no, let's try to be better. Let's let, let, let's be better as a people, as a human being, as a race, as as, 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 as a tribe, as, as a family member, as an individual. But a lot of that really honestly starts about how, how, how you're communicating to self, okay? And communicating to self is so, so important. So understand that. And um, I love you guys. And I'm going to sign out now. Remember, communicate, work on communication, research communication, um, find out how you communicate to yourself and how you radiate that communication to, to others, how you receive it, how you send it, all that stuff. Okay. And uh, I wish you guys again, nothing but the best. Um, I hope to see you guys down in the future on the road somewhere, um, whether through a comedy show, whether through a presentation. Um, and uh, may your home fires be blessed. And, uh, May your, may your travels be safe and uh, may your mental wellness be be uh, heal, healed and healing at the same time. Take care of one another. Be good to one another. Love one another. Um, I am out. And like Catherine Kuttner said, be dynamic. All right, you guys. Take care. See you later.